Hey, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Make sure you go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment. Let me know where y'all from. And if you rocking with Young Dolph, let me know who you're a fan of. Let's get right into it, man. So a lot of people was talking about how the feds are trying to bring down whoever might have did this to Dolph because they got to get the footage first and figure out if he even drove his car there himself. And he has two different cars that got the same color and the same wrap as the one that's right there in front of that cookie shop in the tax business. Because he had, it could have been at the gas station, he might have had the different one in the Ferrari. And then at the uh, cookie shop, what you see might have been the Corvette. So who had the other car from Dolph at that same time? Make sure to subscribe to CEO Media. Go to CEO Media for the full story if you're not already on it and subscribe because how is they flip-flopping around the city so there might have been basically like what could be a stunt double or something to throw people off of and so or he could have been in that tax place the whole entire time getting business done because at the end of the day it's actually the end of the year for at that time in November when Dolph, when everything went down, right? So he could have been going back because he got to get the money out the safe from the tax business and whoever else he has connections with over there. And so if he was working and maybe somebody had came and offered him to give him the cookies or something like that, because we don't really see it. He was there either to do the music video and open up the shop and get the bread out because they were going to use that as the prop money and it was a one-stop shop for him but once the people stopped responding like snoop bands didn't show up key glock didn't show up none of them and so but as far as we know key glock might have had a, a legitimate reason and so a lot of people know that a hey, pre would never set up doll for do anything to uh you know like actually do him wrong and so what you got to understand is that it couldn't have been anybody but key glock and so just it was just weird that big moochie grape was talking about how he had almost 70 missed calls and snoop bands only had two missed calls make sure to subscribe to ceo media go to ceo media for the full story if you're not already on it and subscribe and so if how does one have 70 and Snoop Bands only has two missed calls, he must have had way more missed calls than that. And at that time, you don't even know if Dolph actually had his phone uh, and if somebody else was using his phone because these people were saying that he had he was on the phone and that he was over there like waiting in the corner and this isn't that. And it's a lot of other people saying that somebody could have been using his phone and trying to make a lot of calls to a lot of different people to make it seem like he was actually like that was Dolph or something like that. That way they, it covers the tracks at the end of the whole situation. Right. Because they go they know that they're going to go back and look at who he was talking to and who he made calls to and whatever. So that way it makes it look like he was trying to get a hold of somebody because something was going on or just the fact that him even making a call makes it uh, seem like he was actually up and walking around and blinking and everything at that time when in reality it could have been completely different. They could have had it all wrapped up or whatever like that. So you never know what's going on. And so that's why they have to get the footage clearly so that way they could zoom in and see if he was actually on the phone looking down and everything like that. Because when the people came up, whoever that hit the button and ran to the back it was more it had to have been more than just one worker in the in the front there because how is it that a millionaire superstar like from the own city and town right walks into a building into a place and normally whatever happens is that all the workers come out and they like congratulating and shaking hands fist bumping taking pictures with the staff and all that that's what have been that's what would have actually been going on if Dolph would have pulled up there like legitimately on purpose, like actually mingling with them to try to actually buy cookies or whatever for the people who needed cookies at eight or nine in the morning. Make sure to subscribe to CEO Media. Go to CEO Media for the full story if you're not already on it and subscribe. When clearly after you look at the interviews you would know that they were supposed to actually do a music video there. And so another thing is about how when the Lincoln pulled up, they know that Lincoln was there from the jump. And so that's why you can't get around the fact that to in order for him to go and throw on a brand new T-shirt and a new polo that's in the dryer, you had to have been there because you wouldn't have had all that time 
to be able to see the people ducking and everything like that and tuck it you're saying tuck it in your shirt so where was you coming from when that was happening and so that's what a lot of people want to know and was questions that was frequently asked and so a lot of things that's going on is that basically when key glock heard about everything you know how come when key glock pulled up to the cookie shop and everything people had the access to turn on the lights to the sign because the sign was supposed to, if a building has boarded up windows and a do not enter and and tape all over it saying that you can't cross this line normally the light led lights is going to be turned off to the whole entire building so that Nobody could even like is supposed to even be enticed to going over there. So when Key Glock went to do the music video, somebody had to go in there and turn the lights on. And so that's how you know that that back door, they must have found the way where that back door just stays open and swings open like that. It's one of them Texas style barn doors where it just is just like somebody just always be moved, going in and out because that's where they go to take the garbage out. And so that's how the people even got in when they basically ran through the cash register of Makita's or whatever two weeks before when you seen how it was somebody jumping the counter and they had the clear uh the clear plastic film to separate the worker and the customer and everything like that and so how could somebody see through the clear plastic film that there was two people coming running up with the hammers and the dracos like that and so that basically means that they had to have known way more. And so was like, or they had to have been, has super psion, supersonic vision to be able to see through the plastic film that's normally not clear and is like blurry and bubbly, right? Make sure to subscribe to CEO Media. Go to CEO Media for the full story if you're not already on it and subscribe. And you know what I'm talking about when you see, when you go into the places where it could be a, a a restaurant that serves any type of food, but it's fat, it's like quick, they serve it, boom, 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 and get out the way, right? They usually have the plastic film right there in front of the register because they're trying to keep everything at the distance safe and whatnot from not, you know what I mean? So how can you see through that and see through the tinted window or the tempered glass window to see through the two guys way deep in the parking lot. They didn't pull up to the front how Dolph car was parked. They pulled up into the middle of the lot after they took that turn. Once they seen the flashing light from the Bentley that alerted them that this was the place to turn into, they turned into it. Once they And it could have been a lot more people that was inside the shop because once they ran back and started ducking and everything like that, like they were saying, only one person was up there. So how did they know somebody wasn't hiding around the corner or ducked off somewhere like in a blind? spot where they couldn't see and once they ran back or whatever there could have been somebody in the inside or in the hallway or anything like that and so especially since they keep leaving that side and back door open like that and they already stated that they had issues and everything with that and so that's why a lot of things has got to be basically seen through the footage and once that's released it's going to actually be able to settle a lot of things because people like big moochie grape was wondering what really was going on and, and so the snoop bands and whatever and they was like okay if they were there it would have been completely different but they they weren't there and so the same thing the way the reason why young Dolph brother got taken off and we never seen him again right he got put in the back of the squad car and everything after they was talking to the uh the manager from the cookie shop or it was Maurice or somebody who they talked to him and the next thing they know they turn around point a young Dolph brother and they tell him to get into the squad car and that's when they see him leaving but maybe if they could get the footage and everything like that they will able be able to see if actually it was a young Dolph brother that needs to be the one that had to do all of that or if they was doing that for protection or they would actually be able to figure out what he what role he played in and make sure to subscribe to CEO Media Go to CEO Media for the full story if you're not already on it and subscribe. If he paused, did he really try to go into the backpack and get whatever and assemble it and try to run out? But by the time it was too late, did he park in the back? That's all those things can be seen through the footage. And so that's why the ADT footage is going to be bought. It's probably going to be worth $20 million or something because they usually are going to charge a lot of money to get things like that. Because at this point, it's such a valuable, like it's a necessity for them to actually finish up the whole entire thing. And that's really going to decide whether or not they figure out if 
who was in there or not, whether anybody in was in there was tied to the people that already try to run up on Dolph before, because that's what's going to decide whether they go ahead and go move forward with the Rico and bring it out of the shadow or bring it into the uh, into the forefront. And so that's a real big split decision, like game seven. Um, thing that's going to change a lot of things and flip this whole thing on his side and make it to where a lot of people is going to be actually like panicking and running and they're going to really be hiding once they figure out if they're going to do that or not because people have already told they already got written testimonies on the side waiting and it's from their it's from from their own side the same side that they looking at and whatever like that right they actually got their own people who told on them and so they already got that reserved in case they need to go and do a, a takedown or anything like that and that's why a lot of people is on the run you don't see them no more they don't they're not together at the shows and nothing like that and so that's why people are saying that you know what they was actually supporting Dolph in the city way more and it, and they really showing that right now and basically subscribe to the channel I'm gonna catch you on the next one